If you know of someone suffering from fatigue and if you notice people are forgetting things easily, then the first thing that should come to your mind is if it's not dementia, is it early signs of liver failure? When you say liver failure, the one thing you need to keep in mind is could the liver be scarring? And if you have scar in the liver, then the two usual complaints are fatigue and memory loss. These are the only two symptoms. Who in this country does not have fatigue and memory loss? Every one of us is so overworked that we also have fatigue and memory loss. But we always think that maybe I'm working too hard and that's why I have, I'm tired. Maybe I'm not sleeping well, that's why I'm tired. If you notice someone who is complaining of fatigue and you notice mild memory changes, always investigate and find out could it be the liver? Because if you have scarring in the liver, you'll certainly have fatigue and mild memory loss. Let me tell you a story. Imagine yourself walking on a street. You're blindfolded. You're living life. When you started your journey, your liver was healthy. As you continue to go on in life and you're walking through life, you accumulate more fat in the liver. You have 10% fat in the liver, then you go to 20%, then you go to 50% fat in the liver, then you progress to 75% fat in the liver, then you have 100% fat in the liver. Even at this point, you have absolutely no symptoms. You continue to walk along and go on in life, blindfolded. Now you're developing scarring of the liver. You have 25% scarring of the liver, no symptoms. 50% scarring of the liver, no symptoms. 75% scarring of the liver, no symptoms. 90 to 95% scarring of the liver, stage four. Most people still have only two symptoms. One is mild memory loss, not knowing where he or she placed her car keys or his car keys to mild fatigue. Then I said, hey, everyone in America has mild memory loss and fatigue because we're all so stressed, we're all exhausted, we're all working hard. And all of us, if we really ask a simple question, hey, am I losing my memory? Do I remember where I placed my car keys? At times, do I forget? The answer is always yes. Am I having symptoms of mild fatigue? We all have symptoms of mild fatigue because we don't sleep enough. Now imagine yourself blindfolded, standing on the edge of a cliff. 90 to 95% of the liver is scarred and you have no symptoms. The next step you take is you're going down, falling to your death. That's when you start having symptoms of liver failure. But from the time you trip to the point of death is the only time you have when you're actually expressing signs and symptoms of liver failure. At that point, you have two options. One, continue to proceed and die a miserable death due to side effects and complications of liver failure or two find someone who is going to donate their liver and you go for liver transplant now if you're lucky enough to get a liver transplant you will survive but the next question i'm going to ask is do you know how healthy your donor's liver is if the donor's liver is already 50 percent scarred what are your chances of good recovery and what happens to the donor when he gives 50% of his liver and he himself has 50% scarring. What happened to two lives? So the question you should ask is, where am I? Do I have a fatty liver? Do I have a scarred liver? Two, if so, how much of my liver is scarred? Three, if you refuse to change your lifestyle and diet, then find out who you plan to ask for a liver transplant. If not, work at learning more about lifestyle and diet and change your diet and lifestyle. Why? Is there a pill you can take to reverse fatty liver? No. Is there a pill you can take to reverse fibrotic liver? No. Can you reverse it through diet? Yes. Can you reverse it as quickly as less than 100 days or improve the liver in less than 100 days? Yes. But what is the one thing? Change the diet and go on the right, correct diet that will help you improve your liver. What if I take nutrients, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants and supplements? The answer is no. None of these work. No nutrients, no minerals, no antioxidants, no vitamins, no supplements. No, it's simple food which you buy in a grocery store will help you reverse fatty liver and improve the liver in a fibrotic liver. Remember, even if 95% of the liver is taken and only 5% of the liver is left, you can still lead a normal life. But if you choose to change your diet and recover most of your liver, what happens? you have made a significant improvement in your life and you have avoided going through complications of liver failure. So the question is simple. Where are you now? 
what's in your liver is it scar fibrotic or is it fatty won't you find out when would you want to find out it's a simple test it's a 20 minute test it's a simple ultrasound it is painless all you need to do is three hours of fasting come into the office get a fibro scan done and we will tell you how much of the liver is fatty we will tell you how much of the liver is scarred and we'll also tell you what to eat and what not to eat to help you reverse your fatty liver or help you improve your fibrotic liver by helping the liver rebound provided you're willing to learn and change your diet thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to subscribe so you can be notified when new videos are posted if you know anyone who might benefit from this video please Share this video with them. Our goal is to educate more people about this disease and how to reverse it by making simple lifestyle and diet changes that work.